I have finally done it! I have mastered the art of the ninja! I have rendered myself completely invisible! No, uh, you, you, you're just hiding under the table, man. Now, with my newfound power, I will take over the world! Or, barring that, sneak into women's locker rooms. D d you're just hiding under the table, Jordan. No, I'm not. I'm completely invisible. I, I, I can see your head poking out, man. Really? Oh, well, at least I still have my telekinesis. There's no telekinesis. <coughs> Let's go. Coming up on this Linux Gamecast Weekly, Core Breach explodes in more ways than one. Is Code Weaver still necessary? And we have a vessel that is on the horizon, and long after show is long. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers Linux gaming news, reviews, game capture, sometimes interviews, and more importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And joining me, as always, my friend, my cohort, my link to the real world, Mr. Swang. How's it going, man? Oh, it goes, it goes. It's been a fairly uneventful week. Uneventful? I thought you were a certified Canadian this week. No, I'm a certified college graduate this week. As Are you this genuinely there. educated, Jordan? According to Abram? the government of Ontario, I am genuinely educated. That's really cool, man, because I know you've put a lot of work into that certificate. Graduated with a 3.0 GPA, worked my ass off. Right on, and has that been and, pretty... and Ooh, more, I also more, got more. this thing. What be my that? Giant Show me this moon device of yours. Leviathan ish. Is that galaxy? No. Almost five inches of quad core two gig goodness. Five point five inches, then. So five that that's like that big, right? Yeah. No. Mm. So have um, you voided the warranty on it yet? Oh no, not yet. Soon though. Soon though. I'm I'm reading through the various exploits to root this thing, uh, and there hasn't really been a ROM I want to throw on here just about yet. Maybe Science and Mod will come up with something in short order. Indeed, but there aren't any. There aren't too many mm. Jelly Bean stable gen, Jelly Bean ROMs out there, and this thing's running Jelly Bean, so I don't particularly feel like downgrading. I feel you, you know, my year old tablet is just barely running Jelly Bean, but. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait till that stabilizes a bit. So, how about you, Mr. Stone? What's going on? Well, man, let's check with the judge. What's been going on? Basically, we're just going to start demanding money from everyone. How's that sound? Is that a good idea? Maybe not? Yes. Yes? Well, we, 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 we could definitely go the shekel for an ex-slepper road. Well, how about this? By the time of posting on Linux Gamecast Weekly, there'll be a little link, and it'll be in the show notes, where you can go, and you can get our Amazon referral code, which means, what do you think an Amazon referral code does, and it doesn't steal your children? Oh, damn. I was hoping to get a free supply of children. Mm, well, it doesn't do that. What it does well, is damn. anything that you buy through Amazon, through our referral link, no extra work for you except for that click. We get a little bit of the taste. We You kick a few shekels our way. And we're going to use that to do some neat things, which mostly don't involve jello and or mayonnaise. Cool beans? Yeah, cool beans. I'm thinking cool beans on that, and it'd be awesome if you guys could help us out, because we're doing this on a zero budget, and we're not asking for money to continue doing what we're doing, by the way. We want upgrades. We want to bring you a better show. Well, a better show, you're absolutely right. And more importantly, we want to build a separate Skype streaming box so you can watch us properly cock up live when we record and kind of free up some stuff. Then I can do a bunch of weird things like bringing in, you know, a third person. Not that I'm trying to replace you, Jordan. <laughs> Got what he's gonna cry. 
I didn't mean it mostly this time. <laughs> it, it was just last. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm done. Yeah, and he's. Mm. But yeah, give that a look. Um, check it out with the notes. And maybe we can do like a PayPal thing, but I don't really want to like ask for money directly. But that's something you can help out. It doesn't cost you any interference or a dime either Just way. Just pay your stuff through Amazon normally. Just pay your stuff, man. So let's. Um, I don't be know. careful. Be careful though, because if you order from Amazon too much. Amazon, the UPS delivery man might be going after your wife. This is a very important thing. UPS to man, mind. you got to watch. It. Oh, and there are other shows that you know ask you to do the same thing. He, here's the dice. Those shows. Do you know what those shows do, Jordan? What do they do then? After you've used their referral link, they almost nine times out of thirteen will make disparaging remarks about your mother. Oh man. And That's not good. Yeah, I, I Linux Gamecast, Vinstone. We we we, we, we are pro mother. We are absolute one hundred percent mother and zero disparaging remarks about her, no matter how big she is. We, we are pro your mom. She is a classy lady. We love your mom. We do love your mom. And before well, this gets on. too dark, let's kick into the Linux gaming news of the week. And let's start with the news. We got something kind of interesting. And that's Core Breach is now open source. Now, this Ooh, comes from GamingOnLinux.com, friend of the show. Definitely want to check that site out in general. But they report back in June. We let you know that the futuristic racing game Core Breach was aiming to go open source, and it has happened. You can actually pull the code on GitHub. Let's take a quick look at the um, video here. Um, it's a fun game. Basically, it's a space racer. Um, what were those games? Zero something on the F Zero. F Zero, really big in the day. Let's go ahead and check out the um, repos. We have the Core Breach, Core. 3D editor, core 3D example, core 3D, core lib, and all this other fun stuff. But there is one catch that I ran into while putting this critter together. Do you know what that catch is? What catch is that? <sighs> it's called OpenStep. And have you ever built a OpenStep build environment on a Linux box as opposed to... I. I have not. Hmm. Don't. I, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. Jordan, you should really build a um, open step build environment. Well, I definitely will. Right? I'll do it right now. Yeah. GS underscore make. Pray. But that is one of the requirements. you got to check out the um, build notes in this critter. Let's go to... Core breach, and I, I kind of laughed at this, you know, for Windows, buy Mac, <laughs> install Cocotron, and then do that. <laughs> Lin, yeah, I thought that was clever. Install the latest yeah. version of GNU Step, no small task. And but this is, you know, libobject two. No, not what Debian and Ubuntu calls libobject two, but the real one. I was like, all right, then I'm sure there was something in here about Clang. Yes, and there it is, Clang. Then compile, like any other GNU step project, using the GNU make file. And if you're wondering how that goes, you know, it's not make. It is gs underscore make, name of make file. Or you can just type in, you know, gs underscore make. And it will um, spit out a bunch of errors and not build, has been my thing. And... You run Fedora, right? I run Fedora, correct. Okay. And I run Fedora for most of my stuff, but my daily driver is an Ubuntu box. And there's one reason my daily driver is an Ubuntu box. It's because that's what everyone is targeting. It's not what they should be targeting. It's what everyone is targeting. And I like to be able to say, you know, suffering through using Ubuntu, that if I can't get it to build on a 32-bit NVIDIA running box, out of the box, guess what? You're doing it wrong! 
wrong seeing it's just a reflex reaction it, am i crazy for thinking that way man no it's the lowest common denominator i don't mind i don't mind doing a bit of extra legwork to get my stuff working under 64 bit fedora but yeah if that the 32 bit ubuntu is the lowest common denominator so yeah i i think that's just a fair statement not really a knock for the game Maybe they'll get it um sorted out. Somebody will fork it, stick a fork in it, Blue Raja style, and um, we'll get something cool out of the project. Speaking then. of forking it, you can fork it on GitHub at github.com slash core dash code. Look at that. Good on you, sir. Tick for tack, URL for URL, but moving along, we have something that's... Um, you might like, you might not. It's open source head tracking... From, well, not from, but this is from the article at freegamer.blogspot.com, and we always give them a mention, not necessarily every week, but when they have something cool, because this is just neat. Um, a couple of things going on. This is only using a webcam. I mean, this video is from Flight Gear. And the face tracking's based on OpenCV. You know, it'll take some juice from your idling quad core, but if you live in my camp, you don't have no such issues because you can max out everything for anything. And there's also a less resource demanding infrared LED tracker available, which is neat if you still want to live in 1992 through 95 where VR was the thing and play lawnmower man what do you think hey man 1992 to 1995 was awesome i was like four years old then okay. four to seven years old four to seven years old it's a everything neat. was entertaining then uh, i i just don't know about head tracking and i'm kind of wondering why they didn't go the connect route because that's a neat piece of hardware for the prize exactly the open and open connect has done some wonders with that piece of hardware good on microsoft for uh for op for opening up the drivers to that very rarely i'll say that but good on microsoft i will say good on microsoft after they first said no bad people then the public outrage and they go oh we meant right here more units Oh, Microsoft. It, but Microsoft. that is one good way to know that they make a profit on the Kinect and they don't sell it at a loss. Exactly. So what do we have coming up next, man? Because to me it looks like it's time for Pi. It's time for Pi. And this is really important, I feel. Uh, if you check out linuxuser.co.uk slash tutorial slash make dash a dash game dash on Show dash dash. raspberry dash pi because I have to say the entire link, or else Ben will strangle me. Um, but I've noticed, uh, going back to the fact that I just graduated college recently, um, a lot of the game programming classes at the college and a lot of other places are done using Windows and DirectX. And, I'll, and this could possibly explain why there are very few Linux games out there, is because when you train your... or why there's such a resistance to making games on Linux, because if you train your programmers to work on Windows, they're going to want to work on a Windows environment. So this is kind of cool. This is a tutorial on how to make Pong using Python and Pygame and make it to run on the Raspberry Pi. And it's a two-page, yeah, two-page article. Uh, it runs through the steps on how to use Pygame and how to make a very quick Pong game. And it's a pretty good starting point for aspiring game dev designers or someone who wants to try making a game with Pygame. So that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty neat. And it's also very frightening that, you know, um, aspiring game programmers are cutting their teeth on DirectX when knowing that they're probably going to have to learn OpenGL in short order. Exactly. But, like the tobacco companies, get them while they're young. Get them while they're young. Apple tried that. But that's cool, man. I mean, especially with the Raspberry Pi being low cost and they've open sourced some things, it looks pretty straightforward yep. getting started, standard stuff. I mean, anyone could follow this. And you don't have to be a kid. You don't even have to 
own a Raspberry Pi. I mean, this is something... It's Python, man. It runs yeah. on everything. Give it a try if you ever just wanted to start, you know, with some basic logic and all that fun stuff. Because I don't think either of us could call ourselves coders, could we? Not really. No. We're very dangerous in what we know to the simple fact that we could mess your project up irreversibly. Very quickly. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. But definitely... But... Hmm? But, Oh, continue. No, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to transition to the next topic, speaking of game engines and game programming. And that is from VectorFabrics.com. They have accelerated the ID tech for game engine. And if you're not familiar with what that is, you'll definitely be familiar with what has made use of it. That being Doom 3, Prey. If you've never played that, check it out. It's great. Runs under Linux. It's native. And Quake 4. But what they've done, um, using dependency analysis and loop rendering, the Vector Fabrics... Um, tool has identified the code segments uh, where to optimize the existing C++ code and the result is a 15% increase in FPS now and that was and that was from someone who didn't have any experience with game programming that's what I found really cool I think that's pretty neat man and it's kind of significant now, unfortunately it's on an older engine and on previous Linux gamecast I said you know I was Never went from more excited to doing the initial git pool of the ID Tech 4 engine to get from this to just nope. Realizing it was so far beyond um, anything I could do anything with. But you got to think 15% is the difference between, you know, a $90 graphics card and a $200 graphics card. It simple. really is. Uh, parallelizing game code is a big thing now because you you can't buy a computer now with less than two CPUs. So exactly, and if you want to check out more about this, let's see. Uh, Maurice presents on the topic at Tito's conference in Eidenhoven. Well, he did on October twenty fifth. You can find the links um, at vectorfabrics.com. dot com. Just check out our show notes. We'll have a a definite quick thing up there. But this is gaming and Gary's got to have a word. What does Gary say? And, and tangentially related to our Steam Linux update of the week. Kind of. Kind of. Well, it, run, it runs of. on the source engine, so it's kind of related. Um, eek, eek, this... eek. I'm just throwing that in there then. Eek, eek, eek. So right, what's Gary so got to say? This is from Gary's man? blog at Gary.tv. And, and uh, Nimove asked if there is any plans on putting Gary's mod to Linux. And he says no promises, but he's certainly up for the challenge as soon as Valve lets him out. So um, it's good to, it's good to see that devs are up to, are rising up to the challenge of getting their stuff running under Linux. I've never had the chance to use Gary's mod. I'm infinitely familiar with what it is. and It's good fun. Yeah, that's... Basically, what I've taken from it, that it is genuinely a fun time. So, that's just good to see that he's up for it, and something tells me that he means it, because, hey, more fans. More fans. More fans. But, awkward segue in flying over, flock, the vote is over, and this is from CodeWeavers.com. And this is something I brought up last week in case you missed it. Sorry you missed the Great Flock, the vote software giveaway, which was held on October 31st. However, do not despair for the 48-hour period. I think that's over now, too, though, right? Wait. Almost. They're still showing that, so you might have... Yeah. But, but yeah, by, by the time this this cast ships... Yeah, by the time it's out, sailed. it's over. But that's one thing um, that's at Code Weavers, which we already mentioned... Something I did want to bring up is Code Weavers and formerly um, Sadiga. Is that necessary in today's environment? Because honestly, which is completely polar to even four years ago, I'm more shocked when a Windows game doesn't run under Wine. Yeah, the Wine guys have done a pretty good job. Uh, 
Um, you know what? I've never actually used code weavers. I've had friends who've had really good experience with Sega or however the hell you pronounce it. Um, but I mean, the the one thing I can the the one thing I do know is that code weavers does definitely upstream into wine. So if you want to toss those guys a couple shekels so they can continue their good work. I think that's just a fantastic idea, and you are absolutely right. They do contribute what they do work on. I think it's more for office compatibility and productivity now yeah. as opposed to games, because I think, you know, the core wine team, which these guys came from, but the core wine team, you know, at Wine HQ pretty much have that locked down. Then we have things like Play on Linux that yeah. just make it stupidly simple to get things and eventually uh, and by eventually i mean probably in the next couple of months we're going to see our dependency need of wine cut down flutter away right i mean we're going to go full you know aa on wine so what do we got up next i think it's something we brought up before right yes and you like asking this question quite a lot well, I think maybe this is the third time I've brought it up, but I didn't bring it up this time. We're just merely um, commenting on somebody else asked, Where is Vessel? Where Vessel? Now, at our favorite Linux subreddit, Linux underscore gaming. So, Linux where is Vessel? Because we're awesome. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I said <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So, Vessel for... It's not in Linux unless the Mac version hasn't been released yet, which I don't know. I don't have any way to confirm that. I'm too lazy to Google it at this point. But what did we come up with? Uh, basically, you can go through these comments, and you can find out that if you the latest, most up-to-date thing is to follow the guy porting it. And I'm not even going to try that, but it'll be in our show notes. His Twitter account... And, you know, of course, there's a screening. Let's take a look at that, if that even opens up. Yeah, there it is. Hey. That's Vessel. Vessel. Var Vessel. But taking a look at our little notes here, um, he did say recent update five days ago. Almost everything is done now. And the last thing before I send something to QA is shade of colors. Some of the colors are right. Some just need channel switching. But some have me quite baffled. It's playable, however, down to the fluid rendering, which is kind of like the major part of the game, so I'm kind of worried about that. So how about, Jordan, from now on, unless, and I know we've said this before, but unless you have a working shipping title, no humble monies for you. Your thoughts? Makes sense. It, it, it does make sense. I mean, if you're going to promise a Linux port, at least have the Linux port. Or at least have, like, a beta that's it. At, le at least have a deliverable. At least have something that I can run. If it breaks, I can file bugs. Include the users in the development process. You get more and better feedback. Oh. Users do incredibly stupid things that will break your program that you definitely need to fix. So get that out and of the Linux way first. feedback. Linux gaming feedback, man. I mean, you're going to get good quality. You're going to get stack traces. You're going to get, like, raw hex debugs. You're going to get more information than you need to fix your problems. You're probably going to get patches and fixes for it on top of it. Exactly. It's just, why don't you? It's better to do it. So, you know, just saying, anyone out there in the next Humble, maybe some of you Humble guys are listening, um, simple fix to this. Just make sure everyone has their own Linux or just native ports. I mean, would you humble allow a bundle in that didn't have a Windows version. Think about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, you wouldn't. Or a Mac version. Mm, you might let that slide, but think about no Windows version. They just had a Linux version and a Mac version, and they promised a Windows version. How would that fly? That wouldn't fly at all. No one, no one, would, no one would go for that. That dog don't hunt. Times are changing, brothers. Time to get up on it. So we look forward to it. You know, I know they have one guy working on this, and he's working hard. I have no doubt about that. I've been the sole man on our project. So good on you, mate, and keep up the good work. Keep us updated. Rock Check out his brother. Twitter, and 
definitely check out the um, Linux underscore gaming subreddit and our notes if you want to follow Limit Jibibo is the guy's Twitter account. Cool. So let's talk some blizzards. Brr. Since we went through a hurricane last week, it's time to get chilly. And this one it, is... Hey, it, it, it's snowing in Canada right now. Cinemablend.com, they have a bit of news, don't they? They do. Apparently, Blizzard tripped over their lies. Um, well, we don't know if they're lying just yet. What did they say, but, man? But they said that um, they don't test on Linux for Linux exploits. They don't test online. But didn't they say something contradictory to that? They did. I don't remember what the exact quote was. Let's see here. Oh, yes. I found it. Now, before everyone jumps up and down, exclaiming this doesn't prove anything, from the Diablo 3 forums, we've extensively tested for false positive situations, including replicating system setups, for those who have posted claiming they were banned unfairly. Playing the game on Linux, although not officially supported, will not get you banned. Cheating will. Man! Mm -hmm. So that because differs us, from... us Linux users are a bunch of goddamn cheaters, we are. Yeah, interesting support ticket. Now, first of all, I want to blame the person for buying the game from Blizzard. Because... Yeah, Blizzard is... My, my opinion of them is getting less and less every day. And with the light, in light of this, I mean... It, it, it could be that customer service doesn't know what they're talking about. There could be a, a miscommunication... But I mean, th this is a fairly this is a, this has been a fairly publicized issue. You got to tell your QA guys and you got to tell your customer service guys about what the exact response you want to give them, or else you get rolled up in this thing. Right, and it just seems mental to me that it would be infinitely more difficult because there, guess what? There's not a large collection of cheetah bots or apps to help to tie in that work with your wine. To work yeah. with a game, man. I mean, it's infinitely more inconceivable that you're cheating under Linux. Does that make sense, or am I smoking crack? It makes sense. I mean, wine already jumps through hoops to get certain things running. So Why would get, you try to, to introduce a third element on top of it? Running in there. That's a whole mess of stuff that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Hey, Ven, you should make a, you should make a wine farming bot for, for Diablo 3. Ooh, that sounds fun. Spend sixty dollars, give them sixty dollars, and get banned. And I really like the banning policy. Um, because f you. That's why. Not yours. Yes. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred quid and piss off. Well, on the bright side, Torchlight Two is out. It's a lot more fun than Diablo Three, and it's running the same engine as Torchlight One. So porting that to Linux should be relatively trivial. I think that is going to be. Fun. Fun, and I'm looking That's forward to that. That's going to be fun on a bun. New missing faces. So let's rock into a couple of games. Indeed. Now this first now, one, go this ahead. This one's a bit surreal, isn't it? This is, to call it surreal, it's called Surrealist. Wake up, call Surrealist. Let's play, um, it might be a stretch to call it gameplay. But what's going on here? Not a whole lot. Let's see if we fast forward a bit. Pretty much this. It's a bit artsy. But, um, Wake Up Call is a short interactive piece that takes part inside a comatose man's mind. So that basically, what we have is it's kind of a puzzle game that is supposed to represent l crawling out of your coma and regaining some cognitive abilities. Does that sound about it? I remember there was a PlayStation 1 game that was sort of the same thing. It seemed really cool, but I never got around to checking that out. Yeah. But, it but looks... I'm going to definitely give this one a check out. Yeah, I mean, it's free. That's a great thing. It, it's free, and I like games that try to innovate and try and do neat things. Exactly, and I can't for the lot. Trauma was another game. Unfortunately, it was based on Flash. That kind of did the same thing, except you were reliving some trauma ironically. But you can see it's fun, it's conceptual, it might be a stretch. And trippy as hell. Yes, and it might be a stretch to call it a game, but it is what it is, and it's free, and you can't argue with that. If you're looking for something to pick up and put down within 30 minutes, give it a shot. You might like it. 
you know. Or maybe drop a bit of acid and try it. It might be all sorts of fun. As Jordan said, um, say no to drugs. Uh, Crack is whack. What else do we have here in our gaming section? Because I'm looking we, at Maya. Maya. And this one is really cool. It's a Kickstarter. If you go to kickstarter.com slash... Don't even do it, man. Just go yeah, to Kickstarter. Even, yeah, and just search. Search, search Maya, M-A-I-A, on Kickstarter. Okay. And this is a god game in the sort of realm of black and white or dungeon keeper. I love but, these graphics, man. They're very... Um, oh, oh, they look they look awesome. But, but what... What what stands out to me is if you watch the trailer, you can see you can see something that looks like Marvin, the paranoid android from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That In was fact, my first thought as he well. Lists his, he 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 lists Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and seventy sci fi as an inspiration for this game. Ah, that's and and this uh, it looks really cool. I definitely I'm definitely tossing a couple bucks at this thing. Yeah, I threw a few loonies at them myself, man. Um, then we get into this guy talking, and he looks creepy enough to make a proper game along this genre, wouldn't you agree? He does. Actually, it, he was on the team for VVVV, and that was good fun, so... Oh, oh, v v v v v v Isn't that, um, programming for the word hipster in binary? v v v v v but no, it looks really cool. Um, How long do we have to go it? here? Um, we have 24 days, if I'm not mistaken. 26,000 pounds out of a goal of 100,000. You know, 100,000 quid's a bit high. But the he gives an explanation for it at the bottom, is that he to, to avoid feature creep, he's priced out how much each individual feature will cost mm -hmm. and he's saying it and he's saying that it will result in a better quality game and i'm all for that and they also did it right by saying we're supporting linux out of the box am i correct by saying right that? out of the box now here's another but, thing we need to point out right quick is right quick. just last week i believe or oh, very in that time frame kickstarter is now available in the uk yes and I think that's neat. But you were saying, didn't mean to interject. Uh, sorry, as I was saying, lots of dark humor, and they're and they're being modder friendly, which is real fun because making your own levels for stuff is good fun. It does look like a proper time gameplay development. Yeah, there he is. There's our little Marvin. I'm yes. so happy. Lots of dark humor with a U, British humor. Everything's better with a U. Everything's better with you, but Indeed. I don't. I, I don't. Speaking something. of horror and dark, um, well, this yeah, is. I, 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 I was gonna say I, I lost a bit of weight this week, and I'm feeling a bit slender. How about you? I don't know. Was it from all the roaming? Oh yeah, one could say that. Man, I think that wins the prize for 2012. Awkward segue. <laughs> oh no, we're we're gonna beat this before the year's up. You're right. I guarantee that. We have time. Guarantee. Pinky swear. Guarantee. Pinky swear. All right. This is um from sourceforge.net forward slash projects Rome twelve, and that's pretty much all I can say is Rome is a horror game inspired by the famous Slender game, October 29th, Um, Rome beta. Then, which that file is no longer available, now we have Rome.zip, which you'll never guess one. What? Can't open it. Fails everything. What? and just, Aw, that yeah. sucks. Doesn't look like it's open source, I can't say, but that would be neat to um, get that going. You know, even if it's just a fun little but, you know... I believe Slender was built on Unity, though, right? Was it? I'm not going to swear to it, but I do believe it was. Oh. Well, then. Yeah. So I think it'll be, um, with Unity 4 coming out, it'll be easy as clicking for. But I always like to see, you know, Linux. Hey, it's Linux. We have Linux clones of everything from application level up to games down it's and great. below. It's, it, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So, good on that. 
But we're about to wrap it up because that's the end of our story. But the UPS men came by and we got some stuff in the books. You got some stuff in the books? In the mailbox. Ah. Couple of things. Let's see what we have. Just some emails and comments. We don't really have... I might throw some screenshots up in post, but this is from Powell, not even trying to touch that last name. Pavel Mo Mogila. Yeah, you butchered it. Thank you. Yeah. This starts off, Hello Linux Gamecast, my name... University, working on a game. I got to the part where he said Mac and Linux versions are very possible a bit later. And guess what I did when I got to that line? I think you stopped reading. I absolutely quit reading. I, I, I think, I, I think for quite frankly, you're reading that on your tablet and you flipped your table. After I regained consciousness, it made me happy in one way. I was like, this guy really did a very nice stroke. The way you should submit information to Linux Gamecast using the submit button. But I had to quit because, you know, if you have a game and you're working on it and you don't have Linux support in Genesis, I have zero faith in you whatsoever that it will ever be ported to Linux. Is that fair, Jordan? That's fair. I mean... I, and it, there, there's a practicality. We, we, we have expressed on this show several times that we either want, we, we want to hear that Linux, the Linux version is actively in development or that it's right available right off the bat. And, and the reason we do that is because how many times have we been teased with, yeah, Linux, yeah, Linux, run, monkey, run. Here it comes. Exactly. Go plug our game. Exactly. Go tell everyone. And <laughs> no Linux for you, suckers. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the wrong way to approach us about it. Yeah. Keep and, on working, Pavel, though. If, if you get it running under Linux, we'll be glad to show it on the show. But Right, and to be fair, the game looks kind of neat. It so does. We look forward to that. And a long-time listener sent us a note. Um, let's just say, hello, Sandy. How's it going? Hi, Sandy. What did Sandy say? As I've said this a few times already. I love your show. The content is hysterical. Hilarious. Yes, the after show is hilarious. I also watch um, DBZ Abridged, which we're going to talk about maybe in the after maybe. show. I love the show and um, CF's shoulder, shoulder, soldier. Is a huge fan. Keep up the great work, guys. Um, Sandy, thank you from the um, yeah. left ventricle of my gaping hole where my heart should be. Uh, I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my stomach. The bottom of the stomach, and that's even more real. But that, real talk. I believe, wraps up our Linux game cast for this week. Jordan, tell the fine people where they can find us. You can find us at linuxgamecast.com. Check out our iTunes feed. Check out our HD and SD video and audio. Or you can go, if you're one of those flashy types, you can go to youtube.com slash linuxgamecast. And you can find me, as always, uh, at Linux Gamecast. Check us out in the forums on top of everything else. We do have questions there, and I'm more likely to get back to you, A, if you post a question in the forum, or B, post a question on, you know, if there's a how-to video or a Linux Gamecast episode, then I will be on YouTube. Not that we don't check YouTube, it's just a lot of extra work and they're horribly threaded comments and they're hard to keep track of. Yes. Also, at Vinstone, on the Twitter net. At the Burning Fool. At the Burning Fool, Mr. JC. Ooh, I never made that connection before. I'm, I'm Mr. Denton. What a shame. Hmm. And that's going to wrap it up. Stay tuned for our um, Uncensored Alpha show. If you're not into spoilers or um, random acts of Horrible profanity. This. Or just Jordan bouncing profusely for no apparent reason and sometimes vomiting. It's actually more entertaining than it is disgusting. The second time you see it, the first time, you got to work I, I like with to it. I like to alternate soups when I vomit. Today, today is cream of broccoli. Broccoli. It's a broccoli night. Can't turn that down. But we'll Thank see you. you guys. I'm Vin Stone. And... I'm Jordan Swamp. Cheers.
Warning! The following contains extreme profanity and extreme spoilers! You have been warned! Or have you? And welcome back to our Linux Gamecast After Show. This isn't the After After Show or the Pre Show, neither of which. We can't talk about them, right? Are we still. We, we, we are still bound by that federal injunction, so. And, I mean, the federal injunction got all in our ass with that. I mean, two different countries, and they're like, no, no, can't air that. I, I, oh, shit, I just got an email from the European Union, apparently we've been banned there. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, it's how many countries we can get banned in week on Linux Gamecast Weekly. Oddly enough, Iran hasn't banned us. They love us there. Same with North Korea. It's weird. It's really weird. But you know what I watched? What did you watch, Ben? Well, I didn't finish watching that Spider-Man movie. We both cut it off about mm, 25% of the way into it, going... Not a, not a fan? No, well, you know, it's not so much not being a fan. It was a communal meh. Meh. Yeah, and yeah. it's not like we were busy, you know, with a sexy time or anything. It was just like, meh, let's just watch something on Flickster or Quickster, whatever it's called now. Quickster. Quickie on Quickster. Did you see anything fun this week, man? Uh, no, I've been sort of under a rock this entire week. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm saving the South Parks for, uh, for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to a friend's house. No. And, yeah. One of my but friends. But you, you, you have something to say about uh, South Park. Oh you, man, you, I'll get into that. You were to literally me. steaming out of the ears. Yeah, I was recording. typing hard as I can could, man. But before we get to that, man, um, DBZ abridged. We always have to talk about you. Did you see the September movie Cooler? Oh yeah, I actually you posted it, and then I had to go back and rewatch it. Oh. Let me eat your dragon, seriously. <laughs> That, yeah, all right. I missed that. One of my friends um, had mentioned that to me. Uh, I was talking to at a pub the other night, and he was like, oh, yeah, you, of course you saw the cool thing. We hadn't seen each other in a couple months. And no, I, he's like, you saw the last um, DBZ Abridged movie, and I was thinking way back when. I was like, yeah, yeah, why are you bringing that up? Then I went and checked Team Four Star, and there was the cooler. I'm still more cooler. Or at least I die I'm knowing I'm cooler. You know, normally so my man. brother would spit and say all these things, and I'm just going to get to business. And it's like, I want to eat a dragon. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, not the. it was no tree of life. Nobody rapes Christmas, but it was all right. Yeah, yeah no, I, I got a good couple of laughs at it. All right, I got it. Pretty one, strong, fast one. Strong one, one with weird powers. Well, thank you for calling me pretty. <laughs> I got a kick uh, out of that guy, which is no voice whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> He's like freaking Beaker from The Muppet Show. I love it. Yeah, that's just a whole different take on that movie, which I I enjoyed it. There was nothing wrong with it, but you yep. know, don't get me right. It, I, The Tree of Life is my standard for things uh, I, I i actually i actually went back apparently apparently and i just learned this the reason they started at uh later dragon ball z movies was because before team four star formed uh lanny pator masako x and vegeta 97.34151926535 whatever um Underwear, uh, they apparently came they up. apparently did the first two movies already um oh, the really? dead zone and the world's strongest well, I remember watching Team Four Star before it was Team Four Star. It was DB Dragon Ball Z abridged. Don't sue us. Dot com, basically. Yeah. yeah no. I, I really wish they would go back and re-record them because, well, now they have the expanded voice cast and they've gotten much better writing. I I, I found it kind of difficult to sit. You you, because I'm used to the standard Team Four Star quality now. I found it really difficult to go back. And watch the old, uh, and watch their, like, uh, pre Team Four Star, uh, Dragon Ball Z movies. It's a good thing I we can't I'm... say the same thing about Linux Gamecast Weekly. Yeah. Professional day one. Mm hmm. Day one. Day one. Um, but yeah. No, I'm, 
I'm looking forward to the new Helsing Ultimate Approach coming out very soon. Apparently. Yeah, when is that coming? Because we were talking about it last week. We were. They usually get it in and in around late October, mid-November. So. All right. And they're they're pretty good about getting stuff on time, barring like ridiculous accidents or computer malfunctions or stuff like that. We didn't play our game for the past couple of we, weeks. We haven't. We haven't. I just I just thought of it. Uh, Oh yeah, find the source. And if if you're unfamiliar and you missed that episode, go back and watch all of them and listen because eventually we mentioned at some point in one of them. That'd be ten episodes. Yeah, it was, it was gonna be a weekly thing, but that kind of never went through. Yeah, so let's do it in the after show now. If you're unfamiliar with this game, which you should be, unless you are just watching us all the time, then you need to get a hobby. What we do is we go to Phronics.com, the tabloid site of Linux news. Would you agree with that? I would say their their sources are rather... I, I, okay, Larabel um, likes to toot his own horn. That, uh, that, I'll that. say that, but they can take a little tiny bit of news and write a six-page article about it in some way. In that six pages is what I've always challenged myself to do, and I didn't come up with this game until I started looking at Phronix on my tablet when I didn't have mouse over. Was to try to find the source article. Mm -hmm. And to prove how difficult that can be sometimes, let's see if we can find something gaming related here. Wayland, cool. let, let, me, let me get on the same page as you, Phronix. We have Radium, and Ubuntu tries to attract talks of Fedora. We should have talked about the Fedora rolling release, man. Yeah, no, uh, I saw you posted that on Google+. Plus. I've actually yeah. had breakfast with that guy who wrote that email about the rolling release. He's a cool dude. He's another Canuck. We'll Lives definitely in, uh, talk about Vancouver. that next week, then. Make a note. Yeah. All right, the best I can find is the R600G performance patches... There is um Laravel and your access to Calzada machines. Damn you. I want access to Calzada machine. I'm doing development on it, goddammit. Okay, we have one, two R six hundred three color tiling four five, we have five and pages. Six. Oh wow. Alright. Let's let's try that again. I don't want to go through no, we're not going through. Let's say on the first page, Let's there should be a on link the first page. to mm. some source that doesn't link back to another Phronics article. Now, I, I'm 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 going to go with the zero links this time. Given given the context of all the links, I'm going to say that none of them link to the actual news site. No, but this is this is a benchmark. That's why. Hmm. Okay. So they would they really wouldn't need to. Hmm. I'm because going to read this, because they're it. providing their own results. Okay, what about I, I'm going for bug five six six three four because naturally you would want to link back to the bug, right? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing then. You're looking at the MDR six hundred performance patches yield mix results. Yes. Yes, I was looking at the other R six hundred G article. Well, this one's fine. All right. Patches. All right. Um. <laughs> this is why it's a difficult game, ladies and gentlemen. Don't try this your first yeah. time. You might pull something. You know what? I'm gonna have... Mm, yeah. No Phronics over. test suite, quadruple frame rate, open source Radeon. Yeah, if I were a gambling man, that would be my bet. And the verdict is... So we're doubling down on the bug? We're doubling down on the bug. I, I, I'm i still of the opinion that it's probably not going to be this one, but if... That Didn't is the most likely candidate. We're so let's get rid of the mouse over. Oh, and the money goes to Venn. Bam, bug. Wow. Now, to prove the point here, Phronix, 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 doop, 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 doop. Phronix, Phronix, Phronix. Phronix. Yeah, basically everything except that one link on page. Pretty much everything but that. So, um, I, I kind of locked up on that one, I guess. Uh, that was the most obvious, and I would have just fallen off my ball if that hadn't been the case, man. 
Mm. Man. Well, that was fun. Yeah, still looking forward to that. I think you're going to enjoy the South Park, which I haven't finished because I tried to watch it on my tablet. And guess what? Fucking bad idea of all fucking fuck fuck bad ideas that was. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I get there occasionally too when I get so mad that the only word I can that will come out of my mouth is fuck. Oh, man. It's pretty bad when I resort to using the word ass banjo. Ass banjo. You know, you know I used to play ass banjo in my friend's bluegrass punk band. <laughs> Is that what you guys called your relationship? A bluegrass band? Hey, incest is best, man. Keep it in the family. Yeah, blue blood, right? Blue blood. Oh, well. I bleed maple syrup because I'm Canadian. Here in the States, they have the thing called South Park Studios, which I'm guessing you're familiar with since you're Canadian. Yes. And they pretty much tell you to eat a bag of dicks, right? No, actually, actually... You mentioned that in the show, or that maybe was it was the aborted show. But either way, the reason that is, is because the Canadian television, CRTC, the Ra Canadian Te Radio and Telecommunications Commission, has placed really unrealistic and stupid restrictions on what kind of content can be delivered over streaming media in Canada. Because there needs to be, a, to preserve our cultural identity, there needs to be a certain amount of Canadian content on the stream. Okay, and but how does that prevent a... I, I think it's a legal wrangling thing with them um, Viacom saying, no, you can't stream that to that cunt. country the same way with um, Quickster, Netflixster. And... So, um, for this, and this is just my understanding of it. I could be horribly wrong. But CTV, the Canadian television, which is not to be confused with the CBC... It's, it's another broadcaster. I think they're owned by Bell now. They own the rights to exclusively broadcast and stream South Park in Canada. Hmm. So that so I can go on their site and watch it, but they have a freaking Silverlight player, and if I have to install Mono one more time, I'm literally going to shoot myself in the head. Have you ever run into one of those rare occasions where, on as a Mono player, it almost works? It's, yeah, and... You're like, ah, oh, it might work this time. No. I was watching the America. Well, I, I had my hopes up. He was like, well, the, you know, American hand egg Super Bowl will be broadcast for free of charge over the interwebs. And I was like, well, that's neat. You know, I was working that night. And I was like, I want to put that up. And I was like, we'll install Silverlight. And I was like, ah, put Moonlight on there and. I was like, oh yeah, here's HD, but no hardware acceleration. So Microsoft enjoy your has three to five. Yeah, sorry. Microsoft has Axe Silverlight. Why are people still using it? Because oh. Netflix still uses that, and you know why? Because they're dicks. Because guess who's owning like 20 something percent of Netflix? MSNBC. Microsoft. Yeah, MSNBC. Same difference. Yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty miserable experience, man, but, um... Ugh. Tisk, tisk. I did... Makes me a sad panda. Catch up with Fringe and The Walking Dead, which your, um... Horrible, horrible self is not watching, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Is it? Un you know what? I want to watch Fringe. I really do. It's a matter of I have to get around to freaking torrenting it because there's no legitimate way to watch it in Canada. And because I'm on a 90 gigabyte a month bandwidth limit, thank you, Rogers, hey, that becomes incredibly Rogers, nice. call us. We'll put ads everywhere. And we'll make Roberts. them really small. That's, the, 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 that's what one of my buddies calls them. Roberts. Yeah. Roberts. That is one thing I do want to attempt to mention, that we're going to try to make the MP3s a bit smaller. Same quality, just a bit smaller. I got them. I'm going to test out some variable bit rates and see how many people scream about that. We did say we're all gonna... six of our viewers. <laughs> you know, I like to think that. Then I look at just our local downloads from Linux Gamecast, and we're like over a hundred. Hmm. And we're not talking about audio. We're talking about 
SD audio, not SD. Hmm. How about audio, SD video, and HD video? And that's mm-hmm. not even factoring in the psychopaths that watch us on the YouTubes. What was? Well, we got YouTubes, and we also have the iTunes. But I'm still trying to get us on the Zoom store, just for the because sake of being on Zoom. I think that would be awesome. Just for well, we got we got uh, two hundred, almost two hundred views last week. Hmm. And more and more people every week, and that's great. Remember that Amazon link, you'll. Really help Jordan out. He's um, starving East Opian. Yes, I'm a starving East Canadian. Marklar. Marklar. Mm. Marklar. 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 It's all Marklar. about the Marklar. What did all I? Did, do you ever listen to um, Ninja Sex Party? No, but that sounds amazing, and I think I should. They have a. Really good video of Unicorn Wizard that I think you would enjoy. Unicorn Wizard. Yeah. Pretty well done. I enjoyed it. Definitely check it out after the show because if we play that during the show, guess what the YouTubes will do to us? What will they do to us? Take us down because it will be copyright infringement, even though we're using it in a very legitimate um, <coughs> news oriented. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, somebody asked me, um, a friend of mine, Blaine, is, and how would you describe the show? Because I was telling him, he's not really into tech, and I said, just watch the end of the show. And he's like, well, I watched the entire hour-long show. What the hell is it? I was like, the best way I can think is um, crass comedy with sprinklings of Linux gaming news throughout. Mm-hmm. And occasionally one or two insightful comments from either of us. Hmm. Few and far between. You might have to watch, you know, our discography. Maybe we should break it in two seasons. <laughs> Maybe we should. We should have a big epic season finale. Finn, I'm pregnant, and you're the mother. Again. Again. Oh, that would just be wholesome. That would. We, we, we could do an all my circus type thing. I have amnesia. Again. <laughs> That's a running joke. It's like, oh, I have this thing. Again. Again. <laughs> then I something... have six strains of herpes. Again. <laughs> Glitter the herpes of art craft supplies. Indeedly doodly. Man, fuck Glitter. But we did our phronics thing, we talked about our thing, and even the thing where you can find us. But we didn't talk about the thing. Either the the orange brie, it's clobbery time thing, or the John Carpenter takes over your body and tries to take over the world thing. Hmm. I would probably go with the original thing with the people that thought they were going to be in a movie that never got released thing. Uh, what? No, I've never heard of that one. <clears throat> the original Fantastic Four movie. That was never oh, really. Oh yes, 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 yeah. yes. The um... it's pretty rare I can get to go inside baseball on Jordan. Yeah, no. You know what? I've actually, and you know what? I've actually watched that movie. I found a bootleg and I sat through it. That it's just that brilliant. Sounds so deserving of riff tracks. It really does, but you. I don't know if what kind of predicament uh, Mike and the boys would get into if they have like a if they ha- if they supposedly saw a movie that has not been released. Oh, in elephant in the August. room, man! I ooh, there's something big we didn't talk about. Ooh, there was something what, really uh, big we didn't talk about. And you're gonna have to carry on this conversation while I. <laughs> run out and run back in and that one thing is somebody bought Star Wars yes go yes. for it you gotta do at least a minute and a half Darth I'll be Mouse. right back Darth Mouse has purchased the Star Wars franchise for four billion dollars which Lucas said that he's gonna donate to education so good on him mind you there's the internet's been on a whole kerfuffle about 
Oh no, Disney's gonna ruin Star Wars. Lucas has already ruined Star Wars. Lucas hates Star Wars. The only thing he likes about it is the money he gets. Someone needs to take the reins from him, strangle him with it. George Lucas, I guess we're on that topic. George Lucas. Just saying, came. Sorry, guys. I heard strangling, and I assume that's where we were. Strangle. No, uh, I was. I was mentioning that Disney is not going to ruin Star Wars because Lucas already killed Star Wars. Lucas hates Star Wars. Okay, they plan on making uh, 2015. There's going to be a new um, Star Wars, right? Indeed, Episode Seven. Though I don't. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Episodes one, two, and three. George Lucas, knowing that the merchandising. For Star Wars would get really huge. There's going to be books. There's going to be comics. There's going to be video games and toys and all Darth sorts Vader of dildos. Don't forget those. Darth Darth dildos. Big yes. floppy Darth dongs. Yeah. Damn, that should be a show title. Dar- Darth Skidius. <laughs> but um, but he said he said very clearly. I'm putting a moratorium on the story of how Anakin turned into Darth Vader because that is something that I'm going to do in a movie now. As far as I know, he hasn't actually done that with anything else in the Star Wars canon. So right now, there are books, there are video games, there are comics, all very well done. Better than what Lucas could vomit out of his stupid brainy thing, if you could call it that. But that cover, what happens after Return of the Jedi, the excellent Admiral Thrawn trilogy, which you should go out and read... Um, there's the Yuzan Bong, which was pretty cool. A bit stupid at Are times, any of those available on Audible? I'm pretty sure there are audiobook versions of them. Do you hear that, Audible? Go ahead. Call us. Sponsors! <laughs> Give us money. We will suck your dicks so hard. For but, being um, profane. Floppy but, things. Yes, but... Um... I, I am actually very curious to see what they're going to try and do. Are they going to try and adapt one of the books? Are they going to try and do one of the comics? Well, I think I mean, it's in good hands on that side because you look at what they've done with Marvel. Yes. Um, well, really, we only have one example of what they did with Marvel, and that was um, that was the Avengers. And Can you imagine if we got a Whedon-directed Star Wars? If we put Joss Whedon in, in, at the helm of Star Wars... I think there would be an, a flood of, like, nerd splooch that will, like, wipe out the East Coast. Then the movie after that is a movie completely about C-3PO, directed by um, Woody. Woody Allen? Yeah. Oh, man. It's, it's more of an art I, I, film. I, I, and the other the other thing is that um, the, the 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 other the other thing that concerns me, and now you've I've shown my true colors as a Star Wars nerd. The well, the one thing that concerns me is if they're gonna do a sequel to Return of the Jedi, are they gonna recast? Are they gonna try and bring people back? I mean, they, everyone proven, should be old. I mean, they've shown that like with the with the with the two thousand nine Star Trek movie. That it will be relatively well received if you recast everything, but you keep it within the spirit of the original. Yeah, but you know, then you got to do the but, whole but paradox. Here, 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 here's what I'm calling. Here's okay, what I'm calling. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, uh, go ahead. Uh, I, I will let you have your bit. I just need to finish mine. <laughs> Robert Pattinson as Luke Skywalker. What's his fuck as Han Solo and Kristen Bell as Princess Leia? That's where my money's on. Okay. Well, I see the um, original Luke opening scene. He's 70-something now, right? Hamill? No, he's in like his 50s, maybe 60s. Okay, well, he's there, he's old, and he's telling his tale, and it pans out, and you see Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, man. No, 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 and in the background, you see Optimus walk by, and that's never mentioned. No, I think the only way Star to Wars the only way to legit listen to me, Disney. The only way to legitimize these films is no matter what direction you take. First, thirteen seconds, no more, no less. Jar Jar 
dies. Torn apart Violently. By forces. Torn apart by X-Wings, like ramming their hyperdrives. Disintegrating. I mean, let's do the crawl, let's do the credits and all the story, but as soon as it comes in focus, boom, dead Jar Jar. That no, would... no, no. I, I want to see a string at the end of the crawl dragging Jar Jar's severed head up and away forever. What about end of the crawl? It's just dot, 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 wait for it, then it comes in. Jar Jar was on Alderaan. It would be that, no, you were a bit too young for this, but um, I saw the original South Park movie in theater. I, I watched the original South Park movie, not in theaters, but when it came out on VHS. Yeah, that's how old we are, people. Lawns, VHS. get off them. We know what those tapey, floppy things are. Well, they're not very floppy, but you could bludgeon someone to death with them. But the whole Bill Gates <laughs> scene, remember, is like, Bill Gates, you promised that Windows 95 would be whatever. And then Bill Gates is like, but hey, blam, just blows them away, right? Yeah. In that, it was a packed theater. There was like six of us. We just stood up and clapped like the nerd retards that we are. And we just looked around at each other. And I was like, yeah, we got it. <laughs> mm. And I think there will be that times, you know, infinity with if Jar Jar dies instantly in the opening scene. Mm-hmm. Like, you, they will need to have, like, several minutes of just, like, nothing happening in the movie to accommodate people cheering. <laughs> well, maybe they'll just put that in where they just cut the camera back on the audience and they drag... George Lucas's dismembered corpse in pieces out across the stage and sprinkle it with People pyrite. Can throw rotten vegetables at him. And... Yeah. I'm glad he's yeah. given it over and it gives me new hope. It also scares me about Indiana Jones. It, it, it does, does it give you a new hope? I can't wait to see the pod racing in extreme 3D in 4K. Oh. Do you remember when they re-released The Phantom Menace in 3D? You see, I can't see it in 3D. Oh. Hmm. Well then. Which sounds a bit weird until you realize that like 25-30% of the population can. When I say 3D, I mean, you know, in reality, I bump into it. No, I don't. Um, my eyes process individually. So, 3D doesn't work. It just looks like a blur. My curse is mine do that 99.9997% of the time, and I learn never to just cock around with 3D with this racing game I bought called Trackmania. And I put the 3D glasses on, and I was like, oh, it's all blurry, and I was playing some rally thing. And I was at the finish line car park, and I was just sitting there quietly waiting for my score to tally up. And a leaf was falling from a tree, and for that one, you know, point one 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 percent of the time, a leaf jumped in front of my face, and I fell off my ball because I jumped. I was like, "The hell's that?" The fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, have you fallen off the ball yet? No, I've been pretty good about that. I, 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 what I sit, I sit squarely, or if I detect I'm falling, I make sure I catch myself. Like right now, I'm hovering. If I didn't have to switch the show with a mouse right now or a hand on anything, we would play a hover contest and see who could hover the longest. But Oh, you beat me. You have like two years on me. I've been at this for, what, three weeks now? That's the reason I would like to play that contest. Unfortunately, we can't because I'd be cheating with a hand on any. You could put one finger on anything and you can hover indefinitely. It's yeah. a mental thing. It has nothing to do with balance. For me, it's balance. Ah. But... I was a rollerblading, skateboarding type of dude growing up, so, I mean... I was not. I was way too heavy set for that. Mm. Ah. Ah. Refreshing. Yeah, tasty wine. And by tasty, I mean relatively cheap. That's a Five Oaks Malo. Cali I got, I got a bottle of F-Sauce. It's full of free open source software goodness and water. And that's a ginormous bottle of Vodak, if anyone's wondering. Mm -hmm. Vodak. <laughs> Makes me look like a lightweight, and you thought I was the hardcore alcoholic. Yep. 
I just knock these things back. So, do you agree with me that I think basically when it comes down to it, that Star Wars is in the hand of Disney it might not be better, but it can't you, get you, any worse. You, you know what? Disney is Disney. Well, I think they're going to take the Mar the thing they did with the Marvel approaches. We just own you. We will reap the benefits. You go on doing your own thing. But you also got to think about Apple owning so much of a stake in Disney on top of it. I guarantee you when I savers Disney movie is the versions of Star Trek they're only going to be available on iTunes for like the first six months which means nothing in today's world oh yeah it's kind of yeah, like South Park yeah. I was trying to legitimately no. watch on the tablet then I pulled out my other tablet and went mm, torrent boom done yes mm -hmm. I just admitted to piracy but I was trying to watch it the legal way you just admit it's like the ultimate first world problem too with two tablets <sighs> yes, but the other one was only like a quarter charged, and I had to find the charger for it. I, come on, man. It, it's, it, it's real pain. It's not that... Uh, says the man with the ginormous phone. Let's see that beast again. Hey, hey, hey. I went three <laughs> weeks without a phone because my HTC Desire decided it wanted to have a corrupted ROM, like the, the physical ROM, and get stuck in a boot loop. I, you know, you know what I bought? I bought like four books. I read through like two and a half of them over the course of like bus rides. That, that, so man, I can live without the technology. So you can cut I've back on your book so cost and start working on a microphone. Yes, I can, I can cut back on my book cost. I'm still going to send you that logic. Did you ever sort your, um, PayPal address? No, I have not. Uh, you know what? I'm. I might just sign up for a new PayPal account. Yeah, and if you set that up, I'll send you over. Um, you know, at least twenty quid or something like that. Twenty quid, because that we take quid in Canada. You'll take whatever I send you is what you'll take in Canada. Oh, harsh! You'll take vengeance bucks, bitches. Vengeance, ven dollars, dollars and vents. Uh, yes, so we won't take um Sveng lira. Sveng lira. Please, I deal in gold bricks. Bitch, I deal in gold press latinum. Bitch, I deal in antimatter, the most expensive substance on the planet. I'll give you that one. You win. Ha <laughs> ha. Victory is mine. <laughs> Where's your god now? He's got annihilated in an antimatter reaction. He's <laughs> a particle. Why did you name it the God Particle? Well, it's well, the goddamn particle. It's because he couldn't call it the goddamn particle because it was so difficult to find. Much yeah. like most imaginary friends. Actually, uh, speaking of which, I, the the book I was working on before I just got this phone was uh, Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. That's a good book. That is very interesting. I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm I'm going to keep reading it until. Before I move on to the ebooks on here, yeah, the ebooks. I tend to listen to audiobooks, but I also tend to listen to audiobooks while I'm listening to something else and watching something else. So I'm, I don't feel like I'm engaged unless there's like two or three things that I'm working on something. Do you have that problem? I can't actually listen to audiobooks. I've, I've, once upon a time, I had to do a report on for on uh, on a class I had to take at college. On uh, Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground, and mm -hmm. that is the most blathering diatribe I have ever read. So about a <laughs> less than a quarter of the way through, I'm just like, "Fuck this! This is this this has been this is in the public domain." All right, check out LibriVox, which is a great project. Plug for LibriVox. LibriVox. Uh, and what they do is um, they do Creative Commons licensed audiobooks of public domain's works. LibriVox.org. Dot org. Am I the right side? And yes, you are on the right side. Okay, listen and read. LibriVox provides free audiobooks from the public domain. Cool, man. Cool beans. You were saying? Uh, yeah, but I, I tried, um, 
Uh, I tried listening to this. Uh, I, I will say this about LibriVox. Great work, but occasionally, the re since the readers are volunteers, sometimes you get good readers, sometimes you get uh, meh readers. You know, I got I a think meh, I got a meh now reader that I know about that, I think I oh, might read a book. Yeah. yeah, as dark and evil as some people try to make me out to be, I do read books for the blind, and I don't get paid shite for that, so... You know what? I would. You know what? Given your super sexy baritone, I would listen to an audiobook that you read. That is pretty much the um, comments we get on YouTube outside of um, "I love your voice." Period. Yeah. Space. No homo. No homo. No homo. I guess that's the new thing. No homo. There's nothing no. wrong with homo, mind you. Absolutely nothing. Some of my best friends, actually, my. Almost best friend. He, there's one other friend that is in front of him. He is heterosexually challenged as well. I I made a new friend in Sweden last week. Yeah. And... Did you guys ever get married, tied the knot? You got kids yet? No, no, no. Uh, wait, did I mention this last week? I don't remember. Yeah, it was in the, it was in the after show, man. Oh, okay. So I did. Yeah. I, I, as a straight man, I, I'm, I, I'm I, just I'm just wondering, you know, to that fiber person. turn you, man. Now, as, as, as a straight man, I will only get married to another man for free citizenship. <laughs> How about citizenship? I mean, I do like myself um, some citizenship, but... Hey, I, I, you know what I like myself even more? 10 gigabit Ethernet. Or, not Ethernet, fiber. Yeah. Now, if I can get 10 gigabit bi-directional, yeah, I might take one for the team, but... Yeah. 10 gigabit fiber in Scandinavia. Not all of that shit. As they always say, everyone has their price. And I think about 10 gigabits is, all right, let's do this thing. Yeah, I'll take one on the button for 10 gigabits. <laughs> Yet another show title we're not allowed to use. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Taking one in the butt for 10 gigabits. <laughs> 10 gig in the butt. What, what 10 gig in the butt? Mm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Of course not. No, it was a great stay, time. Stay fabulous. Stay fabulous. Stay fabulous, just not Liberace. That's one thing we did at a Mexican restaurant. Me and the same dude, I don't want to call him out, because even though in his private life he does his own thing, but his day job, he works for a bunch of hyper-Christians. I mean, it's like a privately Ooh. owned hyper-Christian company that would... And he's up in the company. They just don't know about anything. Stealth gay. Yeah, man. There's a good comic about stealth gays. Um, Actually, no, did you, uh, the SNBC one, the CI gay? Um, I was thinking about the Another Random Day one, but yeah. Uh, no, the, uh, the SNBC one was great, was they weaponized gays to target God's wrath at people. That's fantastic. They, they, it's the, the organization, it collects the gayest people in America, and it's called the CI gay. Neat. But yeah, we sent, um, you know, you got to remember that I, I live in a blue ball inside of a red state in Georgia. Athens is like the most liberal area. of the. I mean, once you get out of sight of Athens, then you're like, whoa, I seriously live in the South. Ooh, let's go back inside of Athens. But we're sitting inside of a Mexican restaurant discussing why gay marriage is so horribly wrong. Open tables everywhere, and we're doing it very loudly for a good ten minutes. And we had everyone's attention, as was our plan. Then Robbie showed up, sat down next to, I'm not going to give him the guy's name, his you're, boyfriend. You're, you're, you're going you're to have to think that. They, um, well, Robbie's a generic name, and no one to tie those two together. They kiss, and, uh, it, yeah, and mm -hmm. I was like, and there's his boyfriend. They didn't know what to do. I love putting people in awkward situations like that, and we had already pre-planned yeah. pre it because we knew they were a bunch of um, hillbillies sitting at that particular restaurant at that time. Oh, man. That, that, that's, that's fun stuff. I just wish it was recorded. Yeah. This is this is why you need to get, like, a high-powered camera drone that flies you around so you can... Oh, I don't need I a high-powered camera drone because then I would just dive bomb people with it and crash it. 
I was like, hey, you look tender. <laughs> Maybe a swarm of intelligent <laughs> controlled ones. You get about 300 that just bury someone. Oh man! No, I, I, I like the pirate days idea, where they want to be the fr they want to set a bunch of pie powered uh, bit in the clouds with the blimps, or, or... dirigibles. Yeah, no, they... uh, not with dirigibles, with solar powered biplanes that can like stay up there for ten thousand hours or something like that. And... Hmm. Or no, 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 no. There's enough battery on them so that they can last for twelve hours while they seek out sunlight, and they want to expand into. Like satellites and become like the first intergalactic bit torn site. That would be awesome, but you know what we gotta do? What do we gotta do? We gotta close it down because our after show is going to be longer than our real show. Yeah, it really is. This one went on for a while. Yeah, and you see, that's not really the problem. As we said in the last show, we don't necessarily make it a habit not to really chat with each other during the week, but we're busy doing other yeah. things, and when we get a chance to sit down and talk, there's a lot of data transfer that needs to take place. And that's kind Indeed. of what the after show is. Indeed. So Plus, I, people seem to like it. So Yeah, I think we're spooled up on everything. Um, as you know, we are um, not homophobic, uh, not anti-Semitic. And I think um, we don't really like organized religion. Does that pretty much cover it up? Yep. Not that we attack it. It's just not a bag, baby. No. Keep on dreaming, fellas. Keep yeah. on dreaming. But we do hate Windows and have a rather disdainful eye device users. Indeed. If you if you really want should... yeah, hate speech, oh. you want to call us on that. That that's where you can go. Everything else we're cool yeah. with. It it it, it kind of comes with the parcel of talking about Linux gaming. That we gotta poo poo the Windows game and we gotta poo poo the Mac game and but <laughs> man, that was one it. thing I was on about. <sighs> Anyone who was like, "Oh, Ubuntu," you know, and they, well, not Ubuntu specifically because I'm using it right now. But trust me, the only thing Ubuntu about anything I'm using is the package management system. Everything else I've ripped out and replaced with something I need, and I built it from source. Mm -hmm. But. Anyone who says, oh, Unity works just fine is either a liar or not. Linux isn't your primary operating system. I don't want to hear that. Linux has been my only operating system since 1996. I don't use anything else. Period. Period. I SSH into my Solaris box on occasion. That's about it. Nice. Gotta so, love the Solaris. Yeah. So I guess we're out. Um, hope you enjoyed our after show. And hopefully, embarrassingly enough, it didn't run longer than our actual show. Vin Stone here at Vin Stone. Check me out Jordan's on G+. Plus. Vin Stone yeah. at G+. Plus. Jordan Swang. Burning fool. Hang on. Blah. And blah. Blah. At the burning fool on the Twitter nets. And always check us out at linuxgamecast.com, which I don't have pulled up, and I can't be arsed to do. So, it's you, that time. You know, if, if you listen to this, you know where to look. And if you don't, look us up. Yeah. Tell your friends. Start tell your wife. Tell your kids. Tell your dog. And hide them all. Hide That's them it all. for tonight, exactly. guys. Cheers. See ya, folks.